What's going on everyone, Talon here, and welcome to another account progression video where it's time to get another tier 2, and we're going to be getting another X-Men to tier 2, and that's going to be Cyclops. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at Cyclops before we tier 2 him. So here we have his gear, he's energy attack, so of course we have energy attack or all attack, and then we have all defense, and then we have HP, and finally uh, skill cooldown. So nothing too out of the ordinary there. Um, he does have some pretty good um, base stats as well. As you can see, he has skill cooldown and ignore defense, two of the best to have. So, now let's go ahead and take a look at his obelisk. So we have a ignore defense and a invincibility proc. Um, I think invincibility proc is going to be the way to go with Cyclops. I don't think you're really going to benefit as much with a uh, damage proc. I think this uh, invincibility is going to be more useful on him. Um... So that's kind of what I would lean more towards, and if you had something, of course, with immune to guard break, that would be an even better bonus, because uh, you don't want him to really get uh, guard broken when you're using his third skill, because that's pretty much the skill that you're going to want him to use in, like, PvP um, game modes, because that's the one that's going to ignore iframes, which is really nice. So, or at least allow him to hit them while they're in an iframe. So, let's go ahead and take a look here at the skills, then. So... His first skill and his second skill are both um, iframes. His third skill is the one that allows him to target enemies that are in an iframe, which is nice. And then his fourth skill is just damage. And his fifth skill is another unique skill because it's a channeling skill where basically once you cast the skill, it will keep on casting until you move the character or hit another skill. So that is pretty nice, and you also get 4 seconds of damage immunity, which is also very nice. Alright, his passive, we have 5% uh, energy attack, which is pretty good. I mean, it gives him 5% energy attack, so not too bad. And then his leadership is also very nice. It's 25% to all attack and all defense, which is pretty good. It's always nice to have those dual uh, leaderships where you get attack and defense. And now let's go ahead and take a look at his Ice Await set. So I have Power the Angry Hulk, and I definitely think a attack-based or offensive Ice Await set is going to be the way to go with Cyclops here, just to help him out with the damage, especially if you go with like an Invincibility Obelisk, you're probably going to want a damage Ice Await set anyway to help him out with the damage. And let's see. So that's pretty much going to be a quick look at Cyclops here. So let's go ahead and get to uh, the main event, which is going to be progressing him to tier 2. Alright, so let's take a look at his tier 2 here, which is a visor upgrade. So apply to self, ignore targets, dodge rate by 50%, and then we have increased skill damage by 18%, and increased bonus damage by 25%, and then it increases his passive. So the increase to damage, not too much, 18% and 25%. But that um, ignore dodge is actually really nice. 50%, that's like a really good obelisk on him basically right there. So let's go ahead and use a ticket here and get him to tier 2. Alright, yes, I would like to advance him. Okay, perfect. So there we go. We have Cyclops now upgraded to tier 2. So let's go ahead and take a look at his upgraded passive. Alright, we have Natural Born Leader. Okay, so it changed his passive here. All right, so now it's a 10% um, to his energy attack, which is nice. And that says applies to all allies. So I guess that's if you have Cyclops in the team, all of the allies are going to get a 10% energy attack. Um, I should have been paying attention. I didn't realize if at tier 1, if that said all allies or self. Uh, but either way, at tier 2 here, it looks like it will apply to your whole team, which is very nice. Alright, so now that we have Cyclops uh, freshly tier 2'd, let's go ahead and try him out a little bit. Alright, so here we are at today's world boss. We have Infinity Thanos, so we're going to go ahead and use this team here. We're going to have Cyclops using his own leadership, and then we're going to have the team up bonuses here for um, Beast and Cyclops, which is all attack and dodge. And then we have a team up between Beast and Hawkeye which is attack speed and ignore defense. So let's go ahead and try this team out here, and we're going to use some decent strikers because this is Infinity Thanos, so we're still going to give him some help here because I do not think he can do it without strikers. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring him in and see how he does.
Okay, so there we go. We're able to clear it with Cyclops. I got a little careless at the end there just because I thought doing that channeling... Oh, looks like my battery is getting low. Anyway, um, I thought that the channeling skill was going to finish him off, so I kind of just kept it going, and then, yeah, Thanos just went ahead and punched Cyclops and killed him. So Beast finished it off, but that was mainly a Cyclops solo. Um, so Cyclops does have some... Uh, powerful skills just because he has two iframes and that four seconds of immunity so using those all combined together uh, makes him a pretty powerful character so he's going to be really strong in Shadowland and really strong in World Boss as well and uh, if you gear him properly of course he's going to be really hard to deal with in PvP as well so that was kind of a first look at tier 2 Cyclops here I'm happy to add him to my tier 2 collection, and of course that gets me one step closer to Jean Grey, so we're getting really close to unlocking her, um, so I can't wait for that, and I hope you guys enjoyed, because this is going to be it for this video, and of course I will catch you in the next one.